What's going on YouTube? Uh, welcome to another MLB The Show 23 video. In today's video, we'll be doing a 30 minute flipping challenge in MLB The Show 23. If you guys enjoy this type of content and you like MLB The Show 23 tips, tricks, how to make stubs, or how to gain XP fast so you guys can get Derek Jeter, Chipper Jones, Babe Ruth, all no money spent just like I did, hit that subscribe button, turn post notifications on so you guys don't miss out on any videos, and comment down below if you guys need any help. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. So as you can see, there's a timer right above me. We will actually reset that timer and start it once we start flipping. First of all, I wanna tell you what I'm going to be flipping in today's video, and that's gonna be our equipment. Nothing too crazy with equipment. We're just gonna be doing gold equipment and going through each one of these like so and flipping these ones right here. So let's go ahead and start this timer. We are starting at 345,000 stubs. So that's what we wanna be looking at when we are flipping. So we're just gonna go ahead and restart this timer real quick by refreshing it and we should be good to go. 30 minutes starts now, so here we go. So a 900 flip, obviously, I can't mess up. Otherwise it's gonna make it a little bit harder or a little bit longer, should I say. But I mean, typically in 30 minutes, you're not gonna flip a lot doing like this. This is what I'm just giving you an idea of how much you can make every 30 minutes doing uh, the flipping method that I typically do when I want to flip, uh, when I'm watching Netflix, when I'm watching somebody's stream, I don't feel like playing a sweaty game online. This is typically what I'm doing off of stream. And this is why we're doing it off of stream right now and not on stream because it's just not something that you typically do on stream. Is this is very time consuming? But you just put it in buy orders. You want to put a buy order in for one stub over whatever the order is. And the reason I like these is, as you can see up top, we already have orders going through. So as I'm going through these, orders are going through. So I'm not spending time on a Pacific card or a Pacific uh, equipment or a Pacific player. And I'm waiting for orders to go through. I'm not mass buying any cards. Uh, typically, that's... a uh, Another way of doing it, people just try to mass buy some cards and flip them all at once. And a lot of times the market can vary quite drastically when you do that. So I don't like doing that. So by the time, let's say you like get like 20 cards, by the time you try to sell all of them, they're not even a profit anymore. If anything, you're barely breaking even. And that's typically what I do not want to see happen. And last few times I've been doing this, made about 20,000 stubs. Uh, it takes a lot for the things to sell. So that's gonna be the longest part is waiting for things to sell, but that's not really gonna be part of the timer waiting for things to sell. I will just show you at the very end after everything sells, uh, what we actually made. The important part is where we start, which was 345,000, which I would probably forget by the end of this video, but hey, I remembered it now. So you got a reminder of what it was and you gotta make sure everything is a flip sometimes and also like somebody, somebody put a sell a buy order for 900. You don't do that. Yeah. You go to the next one. See, and you put one step above, but you also got to pay paying attention of the orders that are right below it. Because if there's a gap, you want to go to the the next gap. So if I saw someone put up an order for like 800 on this one, I would put I would still put 763. If that makes sense. You still want to put 763 because that's a huge gap. So that one's going to go through. Therefore, it'll get, it should give time, good enough time for yours to go through and you'll still be able to make a profit. Now, to go through all this equipment, it probably will take about 15 minutes just to go through the equipment and put in buy orders for everything. And then you gotta wait. And then you gotta go in and put in sell orders for everything that you got. So, it is very time consuming doing it this way. But at the same time, you can make millions doing it this way because you're just getting multiple things at once and once you put up the sell orders, uh, you can actually go, you know, play a game or something. Go play a conquest map. Go play, go play a BR, something that's like going three innings long. I wouldn't suggest playing like a nine inning game while you're doing this, because you want to be able to check the prices and put up, re put up cards before the profit margin is no longer there or it gets smaller. So you definitely don't want to be playing a too long of a game, but a three inning game or like a conquest game or something like along those lines should be just fine if you're playing that. But as you see, I'm literally going one stub up every time I buy. Now when I sell, I normally go two stubs down just in case someone else is doing the same method. I wanna get uh, ahead, ahead, of them, ahead of them, should I say, 
Um, can't speak. Oh, like, don't, nope, 119. So I'll put two, two stubs below when I, when I go to sell things. Uh, there is no catcher mask, so we'll go right, right on to the chest protectors. That always helps, knowing the market a little bit, knowing what there is, what there is not. Make the process go a little bit faster. I like doing this on PS5 because you can actually move the order thing, which is really, really convenient. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you in a second. I can move this around. On Xbox, you can't do that. Just an FYI. If you're on Xbox, you cannot move it. So that's why mine's in the corner because I actually am allowed to move that. So in case you guys have asked that question, that is why. Uh, does not let you move it on Xbox. Uh, why? I have no idea. I feel like it should be a, a universal thing, not really hard to implement, but I just hate that it gets in the way, it blurs stuff out, it's stupid. It, at least it doesn't blur stuff out no more. But here we are, next thing. Uh, leg guards, I don't think there are any leg guards, so we'll go over here. Now, set. I can put this one 786. Here's an example, there's one for 803, but I'm gonna go 786 and try to get it for that price. Um. Well, obviously that's not the right price. So I'm sorry for that. Margins are really good on these. And around this time, I think we're doing this around 4.28 uh, PM. Around this time is typically when a lot of people are on, especially on the weekend. But even during the week, this is when people are getting home from school. It's almost dinner time. They're waiting for dinner to get done. This is a really good time that people are normally on the market, which means these are gonna fly by. And that's how you make the profit is you're just getting a ton of these orders to go through and that's where the profit's going to come in handy and you'll see at the end that the profit's nice it, it's nice is it worth the time it is for me you know when i do this i'm thinking hey i can get that i can get that one card i i wanted to get for twenty thousand stubs now uh for the uh chipper jones collection Babe Ruth collection so it basically pays for one of those uh cheaper cards that i don't have yet or if you're like trying to get like a, if you're trying to get like Mike Trout, it's like you do this like 10 times and boom, you got 200K. And now you're that much closer to a, a Mike Trout. If you think of it that way, it's well worth it. Do this 10 times and boom, you got it. Do you have to do it 10 times in a row? No, take some breaks. It can very be very, very tiring on the fingers. Trust me. I've done it a lot. That's why I typically don't do it for long periods of time. I'll do it once or twice, and then I'll stop for like an hour. I'll go back and do it again, you know? But as you can see in the top right, a lot of orders are just constantly going through, and that's what we love to see when we're doing something like this, because we are gonna be canceling all the orders that don't go through. One, zero, one, zero. Back out. Now we're on the bat grips. And then two. Ooh, 1785. Here's another one. You see one for 21. It's like, nope, 1785 is what they're truly going for. Uh, this is, yeah, we can still flip this. 1026. I see those over there super cheap. And I'm like, yeah, it'll probably sell. It'll probably still sell for like 14. So we'll take it. Uh, socks. That one I probably wouldn't recommend taking, but I'm going to take it because I know, especially late at night, it'll sell. Might not sell right now, though, but it'll sell. Uh, for rituals, you could do all the rituals if you see some good margins or just skip the rituals. A lot of times I just skip them. But right now, they're kind of really good margins. I just don't know if they're if they get bought a lot, but this is the last one that we do. So this took about 10 minutes. Takes about 10 minutes to go through all of them. Because normally I would skip rituals, so I'd be done with the, the buying process and I'd be going off trying to sell some of this stuff. But as you can see, these are decent margins. 100 to 200 stubs is a decent margin. Especially as many times as we're doing this. Think of how many, think of how many stubs we spent. We're down to like 240. We spent like 100k. Definitely gonna make some, some a good amount back right here. Uh, 763. Now you can just let things sit, marinate, and you start going into sell stuff. So I never do bats because bats typically just aren't worth it. Their margins aren't that good, and they're just not worth it. So I never do bats. Two one eight eight. Oh, 
like I said, two steps below. You can do one stop as well. And you just go, you go through and you just look at the sellable. You look for anything that's sellable because that's the stuff that went through. Anything sellable. Lot, I think it's a lot easier to go through and like sell stuff because not everything's going to happen and it's just easier to spot as and then we'll be on the verge of making our stubs back and and then some now see this one's probably not really worth flipping you're only making what uh 60 70 stubs but hey we have two of these oh i had one from earlier uh it counts it counts um eight four four biggest thing you gotta watch out is not accidentally pressing buy now when you're going to buy order sell order a lot harder to do as long as you're doing it correctly. Um, nine, four, eight. It probably went nine, nine, but whatever. 1956. Yeah, when you're going like trying to get buy orders, be very careful you don't put buy now. Because then you just pretty much lost every profit. You will not get a profit on the car if you press, a card if you press buy now. And there's still going to be buy orders that go through right now, which I, that's what I like too. So I'll be able to go through it again and get some of the buy orders that went through late. Five, six, nine. That's why I like doing it like this. That's why this is the best way to do it. Four, seven, three, one. Four, seven, three, one. This is where the good stuff is. Nine, nine, eight. As you can see, all these went through and they're very pricey. So you could just sit on these, but obviously you have to wait for them to go through. And I like just going through and doing everything. So I don't have to wait for these to go through. Two, three, but you could do these more often, I guess, what I, what I can say. But yeah, the cleats are very good. Chest protectors are another one that typically go through. Yeah, we got quite a bit of them. Two, eight, four, one. Like some of the orders didn't go through, but a lot did. Three, one, one, four. Another hot item right here. All three of those went, went through. Compression sleeves, nice. Two eight nine seven, two nine one six, and it just helps like say the price. That way, as you're typing, you have to you don't have to like really look again. Saves me time. That's kind of why I, I like saying the price. Fifteen twenty four, because I would probably forget. I'm gonna lie. Uh, three eight nine eight. Three eight nine eight, yeah. Oh no, I don't have two of those. I have one of those equipped. Uh socks. Hey, last time I did socks, I didn't go through. Like the buy orders didn't go through. This time they both went through. That's a huge W. Because those are like uh pretty good uh margins right there. And then rituals. Like I said, we did all of them, but how many of these go through? I don't know. Normally the bigger ones go through. All right, so now we have all of our sell orders up. So we're going to go to our active orders, and this is where it gets a little harder. You can do this on the app a lot easier, but you're going to go down and start canceling all your old buy orders because you already went through. You put sell orders up for everything that did go through, and then that gave you extra time for buy orders to go through. And if they did not go through, it is time to cancel them out because the margins might not be there anymore, or you might have to just redo them. And instead of just redoing them, you can just cancel them out, redo them later. Don't have to do that right now. So we're gonna go through each one of these and redo. And this is how you flip in the market. And now you're gonna see we were at what? 345,000. We're creeping back up there with a lot of things that are still sell. I'm trying, I do have a, a few things I don't wanna cancel in here. There's a lot of orders though, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of orders that don't go through. Oh, let me do that. There we go. Rest is all sell orders. There they are. We're at 333. Now we can go back through these. Considering we when, we're, when we talk about like the the stuff that's popular, right? We can do 3101 and try to get another one of those. We can do 2492 and try to get another one of those. Um, uh, we can go through, what else is popular? Uh, 2354, 2354. We could try to get some more glasses here. Um, compression sleeves. Probably go after the more expensive ones, 231. And this is where you can pick and choose, but see, I'm still going through a bunch of them at a time. I'm not just sitting on one and waiting for a buy order to go through. I'm still going through 
a majority of these and the ones I'm doing are the ones I normally always get. Nope. So we go through this one and I'm doing ones that have bigger margins as well that we make more off of with our extra time that we have. So 1305. If we don't get them, we cancel them. Uh, shin guards, no. So now we go through all the stuff again, just to see. Um, batting gloves is where we started. So we're looking for sell orders. Maybe some old stuff that went through that we did not see. Now we have buy orders going through again. And we should still have sell orders going through because not everything is sold yet. And gloves are good. Cleats. See, we already got another cleat. Four, six, nine, three. Another one. Two, three, two, five. Already got another cleat and we just put those up. Uh, chest protectors. I don't know if we got any. I didn't put any more, obviously. Oops, got, there we go. 14, seven, six. Still got seven minutes. Now it's just sell orders again. And we're at 340. So we're only 5K away from breaking even. And we have all this to sell. And it will sell. Um, you might have to repost some of it, but it's, you're just not going to lose that much on it. So let's go back again. We'll start with uh, cleats again. And we don't want to just chill these because we need some, some of those to go by. So we we'll do over here 2041. You just want to sit on cleats because they have, they need those orders to go through. So you need to do other stuff at the same time. Even though your focus is those cleats because they're moving fast. And when the timer expires, we can't buy anything else. We still sell stuff though. We did not. So we're just going to back up. And anything we did not buy. We're going to now cancel those orders once again. All right, so we're sitting at 337,000. That's 8,000 from breaking even, and we have all this to sell. So that's quite a bit of profit. Let's just go by face value here. Three, six, eight, 10, 12, 11, 15, 18, 22, 25, 27, 33, 36, 38, 39, 4, 40, 42, 44,000. So add 44,000 to that. Roughly, we're looking at 381,000. We just made roughly around 36,000 stubs in 30 minutes. Not too bad at all. Timer is expired, so we can no longer buy, but we can still wait for things to sell. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna wait for things to sell. And I will come back once everything is sell. We can see our final profit. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, a couple of seconds. All right. So we're back. And it looks like four things have yet to sell, but that's okay. That's three, five, so let's say a 7,000. So we're around 390,000. We started at 345. So we made 45,000 stubs in roughly a half an hour of buying cards. Obviously, we had to wait for stuff to sell, but you could have just kept on repeating the process in the meantime while you're waiting for stuff to sell. So we made about 45,000 stubs in 30 minutes of time. That means that you can make around 90,000 stubs an hour with this flipping method. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like. Subscribe for new, turn post notifications on, and let me know in the comments down below when you guys try this. Let me know how many subs you guys made in your first go at this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.